Good morning and welcome to Rosara's Investments. My name is Ara and I started a college fund for my daughter Rosara. I haven't made a video in a while but I wanted to make one today to inspire people to uh, really start investing for their kids and I'm gonna do it in a kind of a non-traditional way. I'm gonna talk about uh, the mistakes that I made first and how much money she made despite those mistakes that I made. So uh, her account, so it's April 2019, and her uh, college fund is up to twenty-four thousand uh, dollars. She's about three and a half right now. So she owns approximately uh, fifteen different stocks and index funds right now, uh, mostly different stocks. I try to do uh, about a thousand in each one when we start. Like she has one share of Google, she has like six shares of Facebook, and so on and so on. So. Um, one of the biggest mistakes that I made for her was I bought her 10 shares of CVS a couple years ago. I paid a little over $100 a share, and now CVS, I haven't even checked it in the last few weeks, but it's like $50 a share. So she lost half her money in CVS alone. Uh, that doesn't include dividends, she got a couple bucks here and there for dividends. But basically, she lost $500 from me buying CVS for her. So that was a big mistake. At the time, I thought at $100, CVS was undervalued. And with the dividends and, and uh, low PE ratio, it would uh, it would just grow from there. So that was a big mistake that I made. Um, if I didn't do that, she'd have five hundred dollars more. Another mistake that I made was I invested in Baidu last year. Baidu is a search engine um, similar to Google. Uh, it's a search engine in China, and I think she was down like twenty nine percent last time I checked. Uh, I invested a little bit more than a thousand bucks. I invested like thirteen hundred bucks, and she was down like three hundred dollars or so. So that's another big mistake that I made. So uh, if I didn't invest in that, she'd have three hundred dollars more. And Baidu does not pay dividends. Um, so one rule that I have in her account is once I buy something, um, almost without exception, I'm never going to sell any of those shares until she's at least eighteen. Maybe until she's like thirty years old. I'm, I'm trying to get her to be a millionaire by thirty. So she's up to twenty-four thousand dollars now. So despite those two huge mistakes that I made, and there are, uh, just if anyone's wondering, there are uh, six different stocks that I bought her that she has lost money on so far. Or I should say that she's, uh, you know, in the red. Uh, it looks like she's lost money. I haven't sold anything, so she hasn't lost money on anything. But you know what I mean. So basically I made six mistakes in her account. But the ones that I did invest in that went up some of them went way up, like Nike, for example. I just bought it because uh, she knows what Nikes are. She, she wears sneakers, she wears Nikes. So that was really the only reason I bought it. It was an easy stock to explain to a kid. So I didn't think it was gonna go up so much, but I bought it anyway. And I forget what I bought. I bought like uh, 20 shares at 50 bucks each or something. And now she's up like 60 or 70% on Nike. So that's, uh, that's super exciting. She's up six, seven, eight hundred dollars on Nike. I forget how much. But uh, it's up there. It's it's one of her top gainers. Um, I bought her Facebook back when Facebook was like 154. Um, I bought her Kroger. Um, it's a food company. My daughter eats food, so I bought her Kroger when Kroger was down to 20 bucks a share. It was like 19.99 a share, and uh, you know they got some bad news, but it's up like 40, 50 percent. Um, actually, no, that's not true. It's up about 25 percent. It's 25 dollars a share right now. So, uh, you know, all these different companies, she's continuously getting div dividends deposited into her account, which is better than owning bonds. Um, I think bonds are garbage. I think it's ridiculous to invest in bonds. Um, I think it's ridiculous to invest in CDs or savings accounts or anything like that. Because you can invest in good companies like United Health, like Nike, like Disney. Disney is one that did fantastic. Um, you know, you can invest in all these companies that are depositing dividends directly into your account. You don't have to do anything. You just buy the stocks, do nothing, collect a whole bunch of money over and over and over and over again, and watch as the majority of your stocks go up and bring the value of the account up. So she's three and a half. Uh, she's up to $24,000. So if I can do this for my daughter, you can do this for your daughter. Um, you don't have to invest much. Um, I would suggest starting with like a hundred bucks a month and just buying whatever, seriously. Buy, uh, buy some shares of uh, ETF. Buy a share of Disney, buy a share of Nike, buy a share of whatever you want. Seriously, just get started. Uh, one of her most recent purchases was McDonald's. Um, I bought shares around the 150, 160 range, and now McDonald's is like 190. Um, so in addition to that going up, um, she's also getting deposits from McDonald's into her account. They just give her money. Uh, I bought her McDonald's because she likes to eat Happy Meals. So seriously, the, the most important thing is to just get started. 
Stop worrying about anything negative. Whatever your excuse is for not investing, I don't have the money. Forget about it. Just invest. You know what I mean? Like you can afford to go out to dinner and spend 40 bucks. Well, skip that dinner, buy a $40 stock. Um, you're scared like Disney is blah, blah, blah. And Netflix is a competitor and people are cutting the cord on cable. Just forget about all that negative stuff. If you like Disney, buy a share of Disney. Just forget about everything. Nobody knows the future. Nobody knows how any one particular stock is going to do. So just buy whatever, buy a whole bunch of different stuff over the next few months, over the next few years, and watch your money grow. Seriously, it's the easiest thing. And on average, your money should double every seven years, eight years or so. And uh, just a um, uh, random thought, this is kind of annoying to me, but my daughter in percentage terms is actually doing better than me because she just buys stocks, does nothing, collects the dividends, and watches her money grow. And me, I make all kinds of trades. I use Robinhood, I trade this, I trade that. Sometimes the stock goes up 20% and I sell it. And I think I'm making a smart move, but then it goes up another 20 or 30%. So in hindsight, I did not make the right move. I should have just held on to my shares. So who knows? Um, you know, sometimes I buy stuff and uh, it goes down and I think, oh, wow, this is a, a, a garbage. And I let it go and I'm wrong. So I've made right moves. I've made wrong moves. But the point is um, a, a very consistent and successful way of making money over the long term is just to buy stuff and hang on to it for years and years and years, decades even. And it is so easy to become a millionaire. And that's why I'm making these videos before I become a millionaire and before my daughter becomes a millionaire. So you can kind of see us on the journey. Um, so yeah, she's up to 24,000. Um, I'm really proud of what I've done for her. And uh, the consistency is, is really amazing. Uh, back around Christmas time, uh, the whole stock market took a dip um, I, buy some, I bought some extra stuff for myself. I didn't really have the extra money to give to my daughter. Um, but her, her account stayed, uh, you know, it dipped 5 or 10%. Uh, but it came right back. And over time, uh, she's actually up more um, because, you know, because of those dividends being deposited in her account. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, I'll try to do videos at least once a month from now on, maybe once a week. Um, but yeah, subscribe, share this with some parents. Um, I hope it motivates you to invest yourself for yourself. And I hope it motivates you to invest for your kids because seriously, there's nothing to be afraid of. The biggest, uh, the, 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 the worst thing you could do for yourself is to have whatever reason to not invest. Oh, I don't understand this. Oh, I'm scared or I don't know what to invest in or I'm scared it's going to go down or, oh, that ETF costs $250 a share. I'm only going to get one share. Like just whatever your excuse is for not investing, just, just get rid of it and just do it. Uh, Nike has such a great slogan. Just do it. Seriously, that's the best way to become wealthy. Just do it. Make your own mistakes because the, the worst mistake you can make, uh, like let's say for me personally, the worst financial mistake I ever made was not investing in Apple and not keeping my investments in Apple. I had a very small amount of Apple. Um, and at one point I had a very big amount of Apple and I didn't keep it. I kept it very, very short term. I made some money on it, but I could have made a million dollars on it. Um, so... You know, the, the worst mistakes are just not being invested in the first place. Um, you know, go out there, work a couple hours of overtime if you have to, uh, you know, cut out one dinner a week if you have to, uh, make some kind of sacrifice and just buy some shares of something. Because in the future, in a couple of years from now, two, three, four, five, six years from now, you're going to be very, very happy you bought, bought those shares today. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll shut up now and, um, you know, leave me any comments. I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. Thanks. Bye.